Okay, welcome back to G. Parker's Arcade. Again, I'm back in the office and uh, putting together this week's um, Pinball Emporium packet, you might say. Uh, I just zipped up some files. This time it's going to be Williams Firepower 2. Uh, I've got your table. I've got your back glass uh, all zipped up in your proper folder. I've got your uh, cover photo. I've got your uh, video marquee. And I've got your video for playing on your play field when you're scrolling through the front end on Pinball Emporium. So anyway, all this stuff is together for you. To download, the uh, link will be in the uh, description below to download this zip file. Again, uh, thanks to the creators of these beautiful uh, tables and these uh, back glasses. Uh, again, I just went out and got them for you. I zipped them up. You can download them. And here I've got it right here in my download folder, just as you will have it. PE Firepower, Pinball Emporium Firepower 2, WM with Media. Now, just remember the table and the back glass, the Direct B2S will work in stuff other than Pinball Emporium. I just have this set up in the proper folders and with all the proper media for Pinball Emporium because I like Pinball Emporium. So if you got that, this will make it real easy for you. Let's right click on that file. Again, I use 7-zip. Uh, I know you've seen me do this countless times, but if you're a new user and you're watching, I want to make sure everybody knows how to do this. Use 7-zip. I right-click on that zip file, and I just choose to extract here. You could do that somewhere else if you wanted, but <coughs> it looks really good for me. You can see you end up with a Collections folder and an Emulators folder, just as they are in Pinball Emporium. <coughs> Over here on the... I've got two window file explorers opened up. Uh, that makes an easy drag and drop. You got these two highlighted here in your download folder now. Over here, these have got to go just as they are in the Pinball Emporium folder. Mine is in the root of C. Yours may be somewhere else. If you notice when you open this up, you do have a collections folder and an emulators folder. If I drag this across just this way right here, and this is also moving these so I don't have duplicates in my download folder anymore. If you just move these over to Pinball Emporium, it will populate them in the proper places. Just drop it in there. It's moving it all over for me. Now, just to show you, I don't do this every time, but I'm going to show you. Now you go to your emulators, visual pinball, tables, and if you look over here on the right screen, we should have Firepower. I already passed it. Firepower 2, Williams, 1983 1.1 VPX, and the 1.1 Direct 2, <laughs> the Direct file, the back glass file, it'll all be here. So anyway, it, it populated that for you without making any other messes in there. So we go back here. So th there you go. Uh, it's there. Now, I go back over here to my uh, download folder. And there's the zip file. Uh, you can do what you want with it. Some people like to keep maybe to archive them or back them up. But I'm just going to delete that so I do not have so much stuff clogging up my system. Now, I'm going to run this on my PC. That's what we're on now. These will eventually be moved over to my cabs. So, um, anyway, I, I do want to let you know when you see this version of Pinball Emporium pop up. It's an older version of Pinball Emporium 3.6 or something. Don't worry, I've got the latest version on my cabs. I just haven't updated this computer yet. It works the same way. I drag and drop them over onto that one. I either put them on a little thumb drive and carry them over there. Or, uh, actually, I use the uh, internal network I've got, and I just uh, zip them right over there when I get on them. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and open up Pinball Emporium. And see what it looks like. And let's see if we can get back over to this uh, gameplay. Okay. As usual, if I scroll through, oh, let me turn this volume down. Always oh, got it up too high. Volume on the monitor is too high. 
I scroll through all tables, it takes forever to get there. I've got so many tables on here. I just uh, move on over to the top here on my playfield to Visual Pinball X. And I just move on down through the alphabet here till we get to Firepower. And we got a little ways to go. Uh, as you see these scrolling by, if you see something on here that you would like me to zip up and put out, uh, let me know. Uh, all these here I can do the same thing with. Uh, I've, I've been doing them as I add them now, but there's a lot of them from the past. Did I just go way past? I did. <laughs> Sitting there talking. Anyway, if you see something on here that's on my system and uh, you want it, I'll zip it up and leave a message in the comments. Leave me a message and I'll uh, do my very best to get you whatever you might like to have. Now you notice my uh, video marquee a little different than what uh, Nate had set up originally on it, but this is just the software I'm using. I'll, I'll show you sometime. I'll do a video on how I how I did put those together. I don't know. Nate's look really nice that came on the original one, but I didn't have the wherewithal and the software to do what he did and to duplicate it. it seemed like too much of an effort, so I just started creating my own uh, with the uh, Windows Video Editor. So anyway, here we go. There's your back glass. Uh, your uh, marquee video, there's your playfield video. You can see when I scroll back and forth that you've got your uh, cover art there, Williams Firepower. And let's just start the game up and see what we got going on here. Always a little fun playing these once I get them installed here. Okay, once again, this is another one that's got the DMD. Uh, on here when you've got a perfectly good back glass that stores that information so I will try to remember to put the link in the description not only to download the files but the video of how you get rid of this DMD and how you make your mouse work up here so what we're gonna do is uh, once you uh, watch my video on how to get your mouse working up here if you've already figured that out just make sure you're on your See, my mouse is now on the play field. You gotta make sure you're on your play field and clicked on there. Hit your F1 key. This menu comes up here that says, uh, and it's hard for me to see because mine's way up on this wall on my vertically mounted screen for pinball. But you can see in this little thing here, and I know it's sideways to you now, but it says there's a box and it's got down here checked use external DMD uncheck that now in some games you may want this they, the back glass does not have scorekeeping and credits and stuff or you may have a three screen system where you want the DMD I'm running a two screen system this back glass has sufficient scorekeeping and all that I just don't need this DMD in the way so again I uncheck that use external DMD I hit OK Right here, I get a notice that says I must restart this, basically. I hit OK for this to take effect. Just back out of the game, back into your front end, or back out of the table. I keep calling them games. They're tables. Games. Okay. Now, relaunch the table. Give it a second to load. Always hold my breath. Now, there you go. There you go. You've got your... Scoreboard up there. I'm going to add a credit. You can see, on, I don't know if you can see on the back glass, got one credit now. Uh, hit start, ball and play one, player one's flashing. So, no need on a two screen setup, in my opinion, for that DMD that's there. Firepower 2, a Williams table.
Looks like this is play up to four players, so. I love the, uh, I don't know, I love all these tables. I, I just gotten addicted to all the tables you can add. And, and again, you can do this on kind of popper. There's all kinds of front ends uh, and ways to do this. I just uh, put Pinball Emporium on my uh, two uh, video cabs. I, I think it's a great front end. I've gotten used to it. But uh, I love it. My, my wife has gotten into it now. <coughs> I did something there. I guess I, I tilt the machine. I don't know what I did. But anyway, I love these Williams. There are a lot of them do this too. There's your 75,250 was my point scored. And then there's the high score for the table flashing on all four, all four score LEDs. Same as my uh, real Stern Stingray. Uh, I, I don't know. I just like it. I love love the DM. I love all this stuff. It's all a lot of fun. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I hope you enjoy this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, consider subscribing. I'm trying to put one of these out each week. Uh, again, I'll try to. I will put. A link to that video where I show you how to make your mouse movable within here you have to go into some settings and make your mouse able to be seen um, that does create a problem now they, they say that having that happen causes you some lag or can cause you some lag on playing these games and you can turn it on and off but I just leave it on uh, I, I don't notice any lag uh, this thing's working great for me anyway Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week with some uh, an another table, and uh, I just hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I got to get out of here now. Which button?